Hey everyone, uh, Brother Bear here. Happy Flannel Friday. Wearing my flannel. I wear flannel pretty much every day. Um, and uh, just wanted to reach out. I'm going to you know, show you guys just how to make something really important. Uh, you know, Flannel definitely says outdoors. When I'm outside at camp, I always have uh, some paracord on me. And I like to make par paracord lanyards, paracord bracelets. So I just want to teach you all uh, a really easy way to make a paracord lanyard today. Uh, one of the more easy ones. We can talk, you know, maybe we'll make some other videos in the future showing a little bit more complicated ones at camp this summer. Definitely going to be making some and teaching everyone how to do them. The really cool thing about paracord is used, you can use it for a lot of things, not just at camp, but you can use it at home. Uh, you know, at camp, we can use it for tents, arts and crafts, um, or any other thing where we just need some, some paracord for, for uh, camping. Super, super, super essential. The one we're going to make today is going to look something like this. This is called a millipede pattern. Um, I put mine on a carabiner. Uh, I like to rock climb, so I have a lot of carabiners that just line around, so I just attached it to that. But you guys can use, you know, if you have a carabiner, um, you guys can use keychain rings, you can use hooks. Um, keychain rings are probably the easiest. Um, I, I just, I didn't have any on me, but I, I had a carabiner. So I did that on this one. The really cool thing about how these are made is that if you grab, uh, I'm going to go to the carabiner and grab these hooks at the end and I pull them really tight, do, 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 they come apart and then I can have about five feet of paracord to use for however I want. So today, what you're going to need, like I said, you're going to need a carabiner, a hook, a keychain ring, something that you're going to be able to hook it on. You're going to need about five feet ish of um, this is just paracord we bought from the store, although it's around camp. You can use friendship bracelet string, you can use yarn, you can use whatever you want. I, you know, I'm just going to show everyone on paracord how we're going to do this. Um, and that's, that's all you need. So um, I'm going to get set up and then we will get going on how to make a paracord millipede lanyard all right everyone we're gonna get started so like I said before um, I'm gonna use a little smaller uh, keychain kind of carabiner kind of looking thing um, for my lanyard today like I said you can use a keychain ring you can use uh, a real carabiner you can kind of use whatever you want but this is what I'm gonna use today um, I'm gonna hook it on to another one so I can just get a little tension on it. And then I have my five feet of paracord that we're gonna use. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make something called a girth hitch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna bend my paracord in half, trying to keep the sides as even as I can. So I have a loop right on top. From there, I'm gonna put the loop through my carabiner, okay? And then I'm gonna pull the two other ends straight through the loop and pull tight. That way I can, my my uh, my lanyard is nice and secure. Uh, sometimes you even call it a girth hitch, um, but that is how we're gonna start. Now, the trickiest part about this whole thing is how to get set up, all right? So I'm gonna do this nice and slow and I'm gonna do it two times so we can really get a good look. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take about my hand width, a little about the length of my hand, and I'm going to fold it in half. So you can see I have four, two different uh, segments here. One on your right, my left, and we're going to be like that. Okay, so I'm going to do that again. I'm going to fold it in half, and you remember, make sure you keep everything as organized as you can. And I'm going to pinch it down at the top, close to my, my carabiner here. Now, this is where it can get a little tricky, okay? So I just got to make a little bit. I'm going to do it one more time just because I need a little bit more length. I didn't measure right there. And I'm going to keep it as organized as I can. Perfect. Just like that. So I have this loop. In this loop and then I also have these two working ends all right so I want to make sure that I have access to both these ends now the pattern for this is really simple it's going to be over over under under 
over, over, under, under. And we're just going to keep doing that. So I'm going to take my first end here. Like I said, I'll do this twice so you guys can go look at it. I'm going to go over both loops through the, the loop I made with my working end. And then I'm just going to start tightening up. Okay, Don't tighten it too much at first because what you're going to want to do is slide that knot up. Okay. When I get up there, when I get as tight, you know, get close to the top, then I'm going to cinch it down a little bit, make it a little tighter. And that's the start of it. Now we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Remember, I said over, over, we're going to start with. So we're going to go over the two loops. That other working end is out of the way through the whole, the little loop I made. And then we're going to pull tight, trying to keep it as organized as you can. Um, in the rock climbing world, which I love to do, we always say uh, a, a nice knot is a clean knot. Okay, so that's the start of it. Like I said, this is a millipede pattern. Now we're going to go under, under. So I'm going to take this paracord, go under both loops, through the hole, and cinch it back down. Once again, under, take that, through the hole, cinch it back down. Okay. Like I said, I like to have a little tension on it, which is why I, I set up like this. You can uh, put it on a backpack. You can tie it down with some tape. Uh, I've even used my toe in the past at camp. Um, just any way you can keep some tension on it makes it a little easier. All right. So I'm going to show that one more time. Like I said, we just did under under. So now we're going to go over over. Over. And over, just like that. I know your guys just probably look even better than mine. Great job, everyone. All right, cool. So from here, I'm going to keep working on it. We're probably going to speed it up a little bit right here. But I will catch up with you as, as I get to the end. When you get Now, you want to make sure as you do this, you have about that much loop left at the end there. So I will catch up with you guys all in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this part of the paracord. All right, everyone. So we are about the end of our lanyard here. Um, I like to end mine and make sure I have a good amount of uh, lanyard ends here because what you can do with it we're going to tie a knot to secure it all but sometimes you guys if you have it long enough you can do other fancy looking knots um, we can put beads on these we kind of can do whatever we want to make it look uh, like our own that you guys can kind of personalize it yourself but to end it all we're going to do okay I'm going to take this end first a little shorter so it's a little easier I'm going to make us loop around these two my two loops my uh, two initial loops so I will just show you one more time. I make a loop. And then I go through the loop. That way it cinches down right on top. Pull it nice and tight so it can't go anywhere. I'm going to do the same thing again. So once again, I'm going to go behind these two end loops. Through the little, like you're tying your shoe. and pull that nice and tight. Then with these ends, you can cut them. You could, uh, if you made it long enough, you could do something called a monkey fist. You could put beads on these. But this is what we are trying to make today, everyone. Okay, everyone, so this is the one we just got finished making. Like I said, this is called a millipede pattern. A uh, real basic one, a great way to start learning how to work with paracord and, and, and learn to, to work with knots. Um, at camp this summer, like I said, we're going to be making a lot of stuff like this. I really enjoyed making paracord bracelets and lanyards. You'll see me probably wearing a couple around my, my, my uh, wrist throughout the summer. Um, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys make these and put you know a, a picture of, of your finished uh, paracord lanyards in the comments on Facebook or show, us, show them off on Instagram so we can see everything you guys are doing. Um, really miss you guys. Can't wait for this summer. To, to be able to hang out with you all over at camp, sitting by making campfires, singing fun camp songs. Um, 
wearing your flannel, which I will be wearing quite a bit. I love me some flannel. Um, hope you all are doing well. Like I said, peace, love, camp. Love you all. Brother Bear, out. See you all, brother. Bye.